Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone you have history with. I will be posting the new love reading, so make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles can be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. <clears throat> okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Now Pisces, I this is my second time recording because the first time I started recording, um, halfway through my sort of intro, the camera fell for no reason. So um, this could be representative of this connection. Maybe it just kind of started declining out of nowhere and it was like shocking to you it like kind of scared me a little bit when the camera fell um only take that if you feel like it resonates but i thought i would share so let's see how does this past person feel about pisces okay we do have the two of wands we have the emperor could be dealing with an aries we have the knight of cups we have the wheel of fortune someone here pisces Feels like it's just a matter of time before the two of you run into each other again, meet each other again, um, start talking again, uh, go on another date, whatever it might be. I do love readings. Love can be romantic. Love can be your friends. Love can be your family. So just take it as it resonates. But someone here feels like it's inevitable that the two of you are going to run into each other. Who else got this? I feel like Capricorn got this as well. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, check out that reading. Um, someone here you know, has a lot of feelings for you here with this Knight of Cups. I feel like this is someone who feels like, um, I don't know, they kind of they kind of just want to take care of you a little bit here with this Knight of Cups is what I'm getting. Um, this Emperor is interesting to me because I feel like this person, they see you as someone who's like got it together. Like you're very... Um, very well put together. I feel like you get a lot done. I feel like you make it look easy. I feel like you're like a boss in whatever you do. Even if you're not your actual boss, it's like you show up with like boss-like energy, if that makes sense. Um, this person has a lot of respect for you here. But I also get that this person kind of, they kind of hold back a little bit here. Uh, like I feel like because this two of wands is facing away here, it almost feels like this person's focusing on other things right now. It, it's like they you're kind of always in the back of their head is how this feels. Like they feel like it's inevitable. The two of you will meet again, talk again, whatever it might be, but they're kind of focusing on other things. So I feel like this emperor energy for them is kind of like they're focusing on other things. They're They're not showing how much you're actually on their mind because they feel like there's... It might be work, it might be whatever it might be. It's just there's, you're in the back of their head all the time. Tell me about the two of wands. The sun, yeah. Leo energy. The chariot. It's like there's kind of always this feeling like I'm, I'm you know, Pisces is always going to be there. Um, there's always going to be something there between the two of you is how this feels. We have cancer energy here as well. I feel like this person thinks a lot about coming to see you, like driving to see you or traveling to see you. Um, there's a lot of good energy between the two of you. At least there was at one point. And I feel like that's kind of always at the, like, I wanted to say at the forefront, but I don't feel like it's at the forefront. I feel like this it's always in the back of this person's mind. Like Pisces is always kind of, they are. They're always your energy, you know, the history, um, maybe even the last encounter. It's kind of always there. Tell me about the emperor. Ace of Cups. You see, I feel like this person in a lot of ways wants a new beginning here with you, Pisces, has a lot of feelings for you, 
but I feel like they're sort of, it's not even that they're trying to hide it. They're just not prioritizing it right now. It feels like there's other things that they have going on. Um, I'm also getting, as I said that, it's like this person feels like they need to reach a certain level of something first. I don't know, again, I don't know if this is career or they have to achieve something first. It almost feels like once I do that, then I can come back to Pisces and more focus on this. But this person has a lot of feelings for you, Pisces. Um, and they feel like it's it's just a matter of time. They feel like, you know, they kind of tr like trust in the divine here. Even if they don't say those words or use those words, they just kind of trust like, yeah, eventually like I'll see Pisces again or like we'll come back together again. I'm not like they're not worried about you two missing out on each other because they're like, this is just how we are. This is just our connection. This is just what we do. I don't know. There's just sort of this ease that this person feels um, here. So yeah, Leo, Cancer and Aries energy coming through. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. What actions will this person take towards Pisces in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. We do have the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me more. We have the Page of Swords. Again, very strong feelings for you here. King of Cups is here, the King of Love, right? Someone cares a lot about you. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Someone feels like you're going to reject them. Yeah, Six of Cups. I don't know if you've rejected them in the past or you are just known to not really like need anyone with that Emperor energy. You're kind of very independent on your own. This person is fearful that you might leave them out in the cold here. Um, I mean, I feel like there's definitely a message coming in here, but I feel like the way this person's coming towards you, Pisces, how do I put this? It's like it doesn't match their feelings. I feel like how they feel about you is this King of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. They care a lot. They care about how you feel, about, you know, what you want in life, your needs. But I feel like the way they come towards you is less mature than that. Um, they could send you a message here. We, do, we have the Page of Pentacles. But I feel like this message is going to be very, like, nonchalant. I feel like it's going to be you wouldn't know that this person is in the king of cups feelings for you is what i'm is what i mean i feel like they're definitely keeping an eye on you here if you have mutual friends or social media or whatever it might be this person's trying to figure out what you're up to they're very curious like where what is pisces doing who are they with where are they going um tell me about the page of pentacles because i do feel like this person wants to reach out and message you here uh, but it's more like a friendly hey how are you it's been a while um, the Magician, Gemini, Libra energy, there's that Six of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's more like this person's like trying to get your energy back here, Pisces. And, and even if it is just simple messages of like, hey, how's it going? It's been a while, right? When in reality, that's not how they actually feel. They feel much deeper, but I feel like this person's trying to sort of keep it together here, Um again like the emperor energy is coming through really strong it feels like this person feels like they can't tell you exactly everything that's on their mind just yet they're reminiscing a lot I feel like they miss you I feel like they miss the time that the two of you have together but they're it's like they're trying to be strong it's like they're trying to be I also feel like they're trying to see where you're at excuse me the magician can be um I don't want to say manipulative because that seems like too strong of a word in this in this scenario, but it feels like they're asking you things or they're they're playing the um, testing the waters a little bit here with you to see where you're at. It's almost like if they get the go ahead from you, Pisces, that you're still interested or that you would um, carry on conversation, then I feel like more will come from them. But I feel like they're they're purposely sort of holding back. Um, not wanting to put all their cards on the table, so to speak. So I feel like they're they're being very uh, like calculated almost with what they say to you. Again, not to sort of like trick you or anything here, but it feels it feels like they know exactly what they're doing. They're like, oh, if I ask Pisces this or I say this to Pisces, I'll get a feel, an idea of where they're at. 
I'll get to know, you know, are they with someone or do they still feel the same or are they still mad at me or whatever it might be, right? That's how this feels with this person. So again, we're getting the four swords, which is an energy of them not reaching out, of them resting and thinking about it. So I feel like even if this person does reach out with this page of pentacles, because it, it honestly, Pisces, it feels a little bit like 50-50 here. I can't, usually I can feel the energy if it's more so yes or more so no. Um, even if this person does reach out, it feels like they could just kind of pull back a little bit again because they're sort of, like I said, they're kind of playing like a chess game here to see what your next move is too. Um, but this person, I, I mean, they have a lot of feelings for you, Pisces. I don't know if that changes anything uh, with how you'll approach this situation, but that's definitely how it feels here. <clears throat> so, you know, I want to say, yes, 100%, you will get a message, but I don't want to say that if I don't feel it, so I'm not going to say that. I will say 50%, you will get a message. But even if you do, this person might just pull back again. But they're definitely reminiscing here. Um, but let's see their intentions, Pisces. What is this person's true intentions toward Pisces? Okay, so the Three of Swords just flew out like that right away. Um, the Page of Wands. Again, another page. I feel like this person's not approaching the situation the way they, like, their actions don't match their feelings. We got the chariot again, cancer energy, and we got the king of pentacles. You know, it almost feels like this person wants to come in Pisces just to sort of like see if they can. Like I was saying, like, it's like, let me test the waters here. Let me gauge where Pisces is at. It feels like for one, this person's still hurting. I don't know what happened between the two of you Pisces or if they're just experiencing pain in some other way, shape or form, some sort of loss or heartbreak here. It's like you make them feel better, but there's not really an intention here to. It's like they just, how do I put this? I got to say it. It's almost like you are this wonderful um sort of their favorite beverage or something like that and they just want to like a little sip so they can like feel better and be like oh okay like that I just needed that little kick like that's I don't know like maybe it's coffee or something for this person I don't know um I keep hearing elixir that's a very specific word I don't know um you make this person feel better though right so it, it feels like this person wants to come in just to kind of know that they can a little bit here tell me about this king of pentacles eight of wands this person definitely wants you to know that they're doing really well for themselves um the queen of wands yeah i i feel like i kind of feel like this person wants to sort of show off to you a little bit here it's like they they want to come back around they miss your energy they miss you you make them feel better but they also kind of want to show off a little bit like i'm doing great i'm doing great here um, this person does find you very attractive here, but I'm also getting, tell me about this Queen of Wands. They like your attention, but they like attention from other people too, Pisces. So just be aware of that. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. I pulled that because of this Three of Swords here. I feel like um, the attention that this person gets from you feels very different with this Sun card. It feels different than the other attention they might get, but I don't think you're the only person that they're entertaining here. Pisces, I have to be honest with you. Um, so even if this is like a friend who's like, I miss you, I miss our friendship, I feel like, you know, say, say they say things like, you were my best friend, there's no one like you. Yeah, they definitely feel that way, but then say you go to make plans on the weekend, they're like, oh, sorry, I'm busy with my other friend. It's like, okay, well, I, like, from what you said, I thought we were, I thought, I thought you'd want to hang out, like, that's kind of, like, the energy I get, right, like, I feel like you're not the only one that this person is entertaining or talking to, um, but they, they feel really good when you are giving them that attention, Pisces, tell me about the three of swords, the empress, and the hierophant, I don't know if this person's already involved in something else here we do have an empress i'm getting sometimes i get this i get like par like a parent vibe because we have the emperor here um this person could be uh like co-parenting with someone or just parenting with someone if they have children right i feel like 
or maybe that's you with them. Maybe you have children with this person, right? It just, it feels like there's not just the two of you involved in this though. This could just be like a mother energy, right? So maybe like um, their mother is heavily involved in your connection or something like that. But it just feels like with this queen, these threes, this empress, like there's, there's not just the two of you here. Um, they could have just experienced some sort of heartbreak, some sort of... Uh, I heard downfall. Um, ooh, <laughs> thank you, spirit. That might be why the camera fell. I don't know. But it feels like uh, they kind of come to you to make themselves feel better is what I get here, Pisces. So do they want your energy? Do they want to talk to you? Do they want to reconnect? For sure. But it feels a little bit selfish for their own reasons. Um I mean, maybe you really miss this person too, Pisces. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between Pisces and this person? There's that Six of Cups again. And then the Seven of Wands. It's like, I, I feel like this is you appreciating that, yes, we have good memories or we have some history here that we can never really forget about. Or, you know, you'll always be my, you know, if even if this is family or whatever it might be, you'll always be my sister or my cousin or whatever. Um, but you kind of feel like, you have to protect yourself from this energy. You kind of you can't let them fully back in here. Um, for those of you who feel like you can, I feel like there's an energy of you kind of have to protect this connection from other people. So it might be a situation where if your friends ask, like, are you back together with them? You'd be like, no, 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 no. But in reality, like you're talking to them every day. You feel like you kind of have to like hide it a little bit. I'm kind of getting like seven of swords energy a little bit. Um, tell me more about potential. The high priestess and the two of wands. We have your energy here, Pisces. And there's that seven of swords at the bottom. It feels like um, intuitively you kind of already know what this is going to be with this person. Right? You can, again, like the, the two of wands coming out again. The very first card out. I feel like this person... It, they just have other things on their mind there's other things that they're sort of prioritizing so even though they they miss you and they want you there's you're not at the forefront and I don't shoot the messenger when I say that Pisces but I feel like um does this person miss you yes do they want to reunite yes are they feeling nostalgic yes but I feel like there's other things that are still sort of well tell me about that two of wands ace of wands and the six of swords it's like I, I just feel like there's other things that's like sparking their interest here that's sort of um you're their safety net you're their like safety blanket here right I I feel like they don't really want you to know about other things here that they're, <laughs> they're like entertaining but they're they're happening um yeah there might even be something brand spanking new that they're sort of uh, connecting with here lots of passion this could, person could be like a like physical touch could be their love language um, but use your intuition Pisces it's very strong if you know how this person is right it can be very you know especially when we care about someone it's very tempting to say okay let me per give this person another chance but if they're coming back with similar energy they're making you feel a certain way they're not giving what they should be giving I feel like you already know how this is going to go. How will Pisces know who this is? The Fool, the Devil, I'm not surprised. Capricorn energy, Aries energy, and the Temperance, <laughs> and temperance uh, Sagittarius energy. Whenever the Devil and Temperance come out together, Pisces, I always say it's like the little devil and the little angel on the shoulder, right? And I feel like that's exactly what happens with this person. I feel like their little angel tells them go towards Pisces because you miss them and like you, it's great energy and like this is someone who can like uplift your spirits and bring good energy to your life and positivity. And then this little devil's like really tempted by like other things and like they, they kind of listen to both at the same time. I feel like this is someone who takes a lot of risks. I feel like this is someone who's not afraid to like kind of just like start over um, even if it is relationships or long-term relationships, I feel like this is someone who kind of wears a mask a bit of like nothing really bothers them. Um, I feel like you're kind of tempted by this person at times too, though. Tell me more about the devil. 
ten of wands yeah it's kind of like this but like they kind of add a lot of stress or this person could just be like someone who's always stressed someone who can't it has a hard time seeing the half glass glass half full right and you you are that energy so they like to be around you right i feel like this person um they have a good heart like they do i feel i just feel like they like i said there's that little angel and that little devil on the shoulder and i feel like they listen to both of them sometimes more the devil sometimes more the angel so it's like <laughs> and i mean we could arguably say that's for all of us but i feel like the reason this person comes towards you pisces is because you make them want to listen to the little angel more so uh any advice for pisces Ace of Swords, speak your truth. Speak your truth, let this person know. Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, let this person know. If they're if they're playing, if they're being hot and cold with you or they're being in and out, be like, listen, I don't have time for this. I'm in my Queen of Pentacles energy here. It doesn't mean you have to be a female. We all have masculine, feminine energy. I'm, you know, I have responsibilities. I have things I'm, you know, trying to work on here the funny thing is, is they came out the king of pentacles and you're, you're coming out as the queen of pentacles this person knows you you two would be a really good match in a lot of ways i don't know if this is a work situation or you just both have the same kind of work ethic or maybe work in the same maybe you're both entrepreneurs or something like that this person has a lot of respect for you because they see that you um carry yourself well you you're not someone who looks to other people to solve your problems. You solve your own problems here, Pisces. So I feel like let this person know, hey, you know what? Your inconsistency or your hot and cold or your, um, you know, the way that you're here and then you're gone. Like, it's not working for me. But like, speak your truth, right? And you don't have to be harsh about it. You don't have to sort of, you know, ream this person out or anything like that. Um, I don't usually say that. So if you say ream people out, then <laughs> your energy coming through. But, you know, just let them know. Listen, I got things to do. I'm busy. <laughs> if you're going to be in my life, like, make it worthwhile. Because um, we got date. Get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. So this person might try to set a date with you, right? Um, but then look at, we also got partying. Time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. So it's like, as much as they're coming towards you, they're also sort of still enjoying their their single life or maybe they're not single. I don't know what they're doing because we got this three of swords um, energy. I do see the runner at the bottom. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. So you could feel like this person ran. Um, let's see if there's any messages here for you, Pisces. Any messages for Pisces? Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out, right? So again, speak your truth. Right. It doesn't mean forgiveness doesn't have to mean, OK, everything's back to normal and we're best friends now or we're back together or we're going to, you know, but you can forgive someone and just for like your own sake. Right. Pisces. Um, do what feels good for you. Date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. You see, you got date. You got date twice from two different decks here. So this person could try and set that date with you or like i said i kind of get this energy though that they might be like okay yeah this weekend let's do it um you know this day and time or whatever and then say the day before you're like okay are we still on they'll be like oh actually like i'm hanging out with these people or you know i'm doing this instead you might be like is it even a priority for you you know so that's kind of what i get from that um look at this we got divorced experiencing a breakup i definitely feel like this person could be and they're kind of coming to you for comfort a little bit here. Um, gold digger. They want your money being used. I mean, you came out as a queen of pentacles. This person could have money themselves. They could have been with a gold digger. Um, maybe there was that word was thrown around between the two of you it might just be confirmation maybe you know their ex to be a gold digger or something like that um take it as it resonates but you could feel like this person used you for your money okay any hidden messages from this person for pisces yes my life is not as together as it seems so it's like this person wants to show off to you that everything's all good but it's really not all good pisces um for Pisces. 
from this person, please, spirit. Whoa, lots. My mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. Mm -hmm. I am afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. So this person worries that you don't feel the same for them. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. I am seeing someone, but I'm not ready for you to know about them yet. So you see, this person might be connected to someone else already. But they come back to you for that good energy, that good vibes, right? Um, my focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. So you see, it's like you're in the back of their mind, but they're focusing on other things here. Um, I know I messed up everything. Any other messages? I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself. So this is someone who like, they're well aware. They know what they're doing. Tell me about I'm seeing someone. The King of Wands, yeah. So the Queen of Wands came out for their intentions, right? So there is a, some sort of connection here, even if it is just physical. Um, Four of Cups, yeah. It's just, I feel like this person connects with this other person when they're bored too. Right? It's sort of out of convenience here. I feel like it's a strong physical connection, King and Queen of Wands. Um, but it's not, I feel like this person doesn't want to tell you about it. Only take that if it resonates, Pisces. Obviously, if this is a friend or family, that might not be relevant. We did get success, which I love, because you your advice is the Queen of Pentacles. So keep doing what you're doing, because it's working. Um, and then we got within the next few weeks, so... Like I said, I see it's up to you at the bottom. This person's definitely going to reach out. It's just a matter of uh, when. But then again, I feel like there's like this kind of back and forth they do a little bit. Um, loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So sometimes loneliness can sort of drive our decisions. If we're feeling really lonely and then this person comes back around, it's a familiar energy. It can feel like, good to connect even though we know they're not good for us so just remember you are never alone um because then we got it's time to release negativity scorpio energy so let's see messages for pisces deep knowing number 43 and serendipity number 18 let me send one more thank you and then we got why number 31 and then i see never ending story at the bottom so you could feel that way and then i see not for you behind that but okay so let's read these <clears throat> 43 you are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again so tune out for a bit Hypersensitive, you're suffering from psychic exhaustion. This signals a time for a recharging of your batteries. Set energetic boundaries, take a salt bath, empty your mind, and get back to you. It's not a time to be too open. Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? Pisces, this person literally came out as the devil and the ten of wands, right? So someone who might exhaust you here. Um, but you could feel maybe a lot of empathy for this person. You feel like you have to help in some way. Spirit's asking you to set boundaries here. Um, we did get 18, which says serendipity. Spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey, someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting, Wheel of Fortune. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So I feel like there is some sort of deep lesson to be learned with this person um, because they are coming back around. Like it's They're meant to come back into your life. We can sit there and say, why would the past come back? What is this? Usually it's an unfinished lesson, right? And if we have the mindset of I've learned everything I need to learn and we're not open to seeing something new, um, we could kind of be stuck in this sort of lesson to be learned for longer than we need to be. So let me know in the comments down below, what, is, what do you feel this person is teaching you? Um, and yes. And then we have... 
Sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you toward a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. Or you may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong, but deep down what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness you seek. Thank you, spirit. So I feel like that kind of ties into that last card that I read too. Like there's this person is here for a reason. Why? Why do you make the choices you do with this person? Um, Self-reflection, right? But if you feel like you still need more clarity, uh, Pisces, check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice. Your first five minutes with them are completely free. And then I also have a code there for 10% off. So, let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person. It feels like there's another, at least one other energy involved. So it could be their initials. Just take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate with you, though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have Q, U, A, V, E, Q again, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Pisces. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.